welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to map the keys to our apps. So first of all, you have to add your games to Octopus by clicking that little plus sign. And then you have to launch it from Octopus. Then you see a um, Octopus sign on the top and you can click it and then you can try to add the buttons that you would like to map. But you will never be able to do that with mouse mode. Whenever you try to close the mouse mode, it will go back to home. So here's the solution. To do so, you have to have a mouse connected to your RetroPocket 2. I'm not using a Bluetooth one, but you can. So let's see how to solve them. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to delete two of the keys that I've mapped. Using a mouse will enable you to map the keys as you like. So if you're aware of my menu here, I'm using a paid version and that enables me to map my analog stick to do the slide function that I'm going to show you. You have to use your mouse to draw a line before mapping it, just like this. And that allows you to move left and right. And let me show you some gameplay. The game I'm playing here is called Mew Stashed. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I mentioned it in my previous video about the nine apps on my Retro Pocket 2 and it's absolutely fun. If you have a Switch, you'll probably realize that this game is on Switch as well, but the price of this game on Android is a lot cheaper than that of the one on Switch. So if you're interested in it, you may want to check it out. I really enjoy this game on my Retro Pocket 2 because it gives me a Switch like of control, but I got this game at a much lower price. Just for your information, the Android version of this game in my region is about $3 and the Switch version of it is about $19. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and let you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. So I guess that's it for this tutorial. Please like my video if you enjoy it and please subscribe to my channel for support. Bye!